107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. It's about to get sexy tonight, baby. About to get sexy tonight. We have one of the Queen of Crown uh, with us. Uh, it's a beautiful lady. This is home for her. This is home when she comes to visit us. And this is home anyway because she's from Trent, New Jersey anyway. But it's nice to welcome Miss Samore back. Thank you. I appreciate that. And, and you call me Miss Samore. You don't have to say Miss Samore. Because it's kind of like, it's kind of like, makes me feel like a drag queen. Oh. You know, like, Lady Samore. Samore's here. Samore. Exactly. That makes you. it seem a little kind of cool. But I thank you. It's been eight years that I've yes. been at Caroline's. Yeah, it's been Every single King weekend. And it just gets better and better and better. And what more, what, what's the better weekend to choose than Martin Luther King weekend? Like, there's not a black person in America that's not in a good mood. <laughs> king weekend. Well, we should be. That's for sure. Like really? And you're a queen. This, and I'm a queen, and you're it's queen. King weekend. Yeah, and you know what? We appreciate it as a queen celebrating a king and a great king at that. I mean, you can't go wrong. Exactly. And and for me, like I love when people come out to the show and see me live because I don't get a chance to come to New York often. Right, you know, I go to other cities. Sometimes I go to Jersey. Sometimes I go to Philadelphia. But I don't go to New York. I make sure that I come once a year. So this is my once a year, my annual. I want people to come out and jo enjoy the show. Because um, it's just once a year. I only do it once a year. Yeah. I, I refresh the jokes and make it hot and fresh every year. So now, it's a good see. your jokes, you know what? I, I've seen you on many occasions, and I plan on crashing your show uh, one of the week, one of the things this weekend. But your, your material, I, I don't know if it's written for you. It doesn't feel like it's written for you. It feels like, to me... You've lived through a lot of what you talk about, mm -hmm. and it's relatable to people, mm -hmm. and you just have that special way of twisting it and bringing it to us. And it is. I try to live, I just, I try to live and embrace every day. Okay. Meaning, like, I try to be present every day so that I could, it could help me in my writing. Try to ex have all types of experiences, encounter all different types of people, and see what's going on with the people. And that's what inspires me to write jokes. What are the uh, goals for you uh, for this year? Man, last so, year, yeah. um, last year I shot my second solo project. It's mm -hmm. entitled Chandelier Status. Um, it's a campaign that I'm running right now. It's just called Being a Chandelier. And what a chandelier is, is a person who believes in themselves and tries mm -hmm. to be the best person they can. Like in this ever-changing world, every single month there's a new trend coming out. It's like, do I get booty shots? Do I get <laughs> this? Do I get that? Like, it's about not chasing all these different fads and just focus it, focusing on being the best you and mm. empowering people around you. So I tell people, be a chandelier and be on chandelier status. When you're a chandelier, you're going to shine no matter what. Like that. So that's, what I'm, that's, the, that's how my life is. Um, my special is called Chandelier Status. Uh, I shot it in August. And hopefully it'll be out this spring. I produced it myself, okay. so I'm in the process of um, shopping it right now to Comedy Central, to Showtime. We're shopping it, and um, hopefully it'll be out, and then it'll be on DVD. Some more. 107.5, baby. WBLS.